Hello students, I am Bindu. In the last class, we discussed the need for social and religious reforms and the movements that started to remove and eradicate the ill practices of Hindu society. Today, we are going to discuss the social and religious reform movements that took place to bring in a change in education and the reforms in Muslims. In India, before the independence of India, as there were reasons for bringing in the reforms in Hindu society, so was there a need for bringing reforms in Muslim society. Let us discuss the reasons. Reasons for the reforms and education among Muslims. As the Hindu reformist struggled against orthodox practices, the Muslim reformist also had to struggle against their orthodox religious practices. After the suppression of the revolt of 1857, a lot of bitterness between Muslims and the British had become evident. Most Malvis were opposed to English education as they felt that the teachings of modern science and philosophy were contrary to Islamic tenets. One of the key people to spearhead the reforms among Muslims was Syed Ahmad Khan. Syed Ahmad Khan was born in 1817 into a Muslim noble family and joined the service of the company as a judicial officer. As a social reformer, Syed Ahmad Khan campaigned against the Purda system polygamy and the Muslim system of divorce. He emphasized the need for removing irrational social customs while retaining the essence of Islam and encouraging a rational interpretation of the Quran. Syed Ahmad Khan started the Aligarh movement. This movement helped in enlightening Muslims to accept science and be open to nurturing scientific temperament. Syed Ahmad advised Muslims to embrace Western education and take up government service. It helped to develop a modern outlook among its students. He initiated the intellectual movement called the Aligarh movement. Through his initiative was established the Mohammedan Oriental College. Which later developed into the Aligarh Muslim University. 
in 1862, he founded the Scientific Society to translate English books on science and other subjects into Urdu. He also started an English Urdu journal through which he spread the ideas of social reform. In course of time, this became the most important educational institution for Indian Muslims. While there were many movements taking place in the north of India after the revolt of 1857, there were equal reform movements taking place in Nizam's dominions that is Hyderabad region. Nizam dominions despite being a princely state under British paramountcy was influenced by the ongoing reform movements in the country. Social reformer like Mohib Hussain in Nizam's dominion started a journal Mulyame Nishwan. He wrote on women's issues. He advocated education for women and took stand against the Parda system. He advocated the Sufi tradition of unity. He supported Hindu-Muslim unity. We have observed all the above discussed movements and reform initiatives were taken up by men. Women also contributed to the reform movements. Let us discuss it more. Begums of Bhopal Rukia Begum Pandita Ramabhai Savitri Bai Pule Savitri Bai Pule was an Indian social reformer, educationalist, and poet from Maharashtra. Along with her husband in Maharashtra, she played a vital role in improving women's rights in India. She is one of the pioneers of India's feminist movement. Savitri Bai Pule was born on 3rd January 1831. She was the first Indian woman teacher. She was not only a teacher but also a social reformer, activist and poet. By the year 1848, she along with her husband opened five schools for women. Besides educating women, she also worked towards improving society's view towards 
विडो रिमेरिज शी स्ट्रांगली अपोज सती प्राता शी राइज हर वॉइस अगेन्स्ट बाल विवाह चाइल्ड मैरिज she took the responsibility of satya sodak samaj which was founded by her husband besides savitri bhai phule another woman who contributed to women's reforms was pandita ramabai saraswati pandita ramabai had been educated in the united states and england she wrote about the unequal treatment meted out to the women of india she founded the arya mahila sabha in pune and opened the sardha sadan for helping destitute widows at sarda sadan she upskilled the women through vocational training so that they could stand on their own feet sarda sadan also provided housing education and medical services for many needy groups including widows orphans and the blind under the successive leadership of begum of bhopal a notable women's reform movement took place the movement took place between 1819 and 1926 four brave women ruled over the princely state of bhopal these were kursia begum sikandar begum shah jahan begum Sultan Jahan Begum Four Begums of Bhopal brought the following reforms Promoting education among women Fought for gender norms Changed the public perception of women hindu muslim unity another very powerful women reformer from the muslim community to fight the orthodox practices was begum rukia Begum Rukia was a social reformer. She struggled to bring reforms in the undivided Bengal area. 
she fought for equal rights for women she opened a school for girls besides the religious issues many social issues were practiced that were practiced widely in india to fight these issues and eradicate social practices many social reformers came in the 20th century these reformers were bhagya reddy verma ambedkar narayan guru arige swami sadha lakshmi ishwari bhai india was plagued with many social issues and one of the worst practiced social norms was the caste system under british rule in india the caste system began to change as the following practices were followed by the british the british courts implemented the same laws for all the government policies were the same for everyone the missionaries were particularly active in educating the children of lower caste who had till then been deprived of all education the christian missionaries opened schools where admission was given to all children irrespective of their caste background government service especially in the army was now open to all even people from caste considered as low or untouchable many moved to the new emerging towns to find new kinds of employment all this brought about changes in the position of the lower castes who began to question caste based discrimination all these changes brought by the british were well appreciated by some of the indian reformers these reformers fought for the rights of the people who were being marginalized by the people of the upper caste jyoti roy police prominent role in bringing about reforms in maharashtra he opposed the existing practice of considering brahmins as a superior caste he proposed that the poor and the untouchables unite to challenge caste discrimination he started a school for the education of girls of the lower castes and founded an association called the satya sodak samaj
people from all castes and religions were allowed to join the association. He was opposed to the domination of the Brahmins and started the practice of conducting marriages without Brahmin priests.